In this video, we're going to create and modify a roof that uses the shape editing tools to define the high and the low points. We will modify the roof structure so that the insulation layer is variable in height, and then we'll add spot and slope dimensions to identify the high and low points. The first thing we need to do is create the flat roof. We'll do this from the architecture tab and create a roof by footprint. For this roof, we're going to make sure we use the steel truss insulation on metal deck with EPDM type. And before we draw it, we want to go ahead and uncheck to find slope in the options bar. To draw the profile of this roof, I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm going to use the inside face of my parapet walls as the defining point. After I have the rectangle created, I can finish the sketch. And from here, with the roof selected, I can use the add split line option to add the split lines that will define the ridge and the low points of the roof. So the first one I'll add is going to be along grid line 3. And then I want the intersections of grid 4 and B and 2 and B to be my low points. So what I'll do is I'll draw split lines to that intersection. which gives me the low point, as you can see here. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Now to set these points, I can use modify sub elements, and I can select the point at those grid intersections and I can give it a positive or a negative value. In this case, we're going to go negative 9 inches. And that's just to give us a slope to these points here. Before we finish this, I'm going to go to Edit Type for the roof type and edit the structure. For Layer 2, above the core boundary, I can check variable, and with variable checked, what that's going to do is going to leave everything else flat, and it's going to have this layer slope. So everything above the core boundary, or level 3 here, is, is going to slope with the roof. The rest of the elements here are going to stay flat. The only thing to keep in mind is that the value you entered, in our case it was negative 9 inches, needs to be less than the thickness that we're showing here. So hit OK a couple times, and if we hit Escape, that'll take us out of the shape editing mode, and I can go to the 3D view, and you can see that we now have two low points in our roof. Going back into my roof plan, from my Annotate tab, I can use the Spot Slope tool, which will identify the slope of my roof. You can see here the ridge has no slope, but our valleys will. And then I can even go in, same thing from the annotate tab, and I can put a spot elevation either based upon the actual elevation or the bottom elevation of those points. In this case, we're going to use the actual elevation. To define my high point and my low point. 